As an example, Dr. Vise, who works with Dr. Manuel Ferreira Jr. just down the street and across the road at University of Washington Hospital, performing surgery and practicing endocrinology together treating those with chordoma. And I, as an example, who had chordoma, who Dr. Manuel Ferreira Jr. successfully defeated cancer and suffering. And Dr. Vise, who stared and stared and stared and tested, keeping me within his limits of dominance, Dr. Paredes had to eventually stare back and go, from what I noticed when his dominant brain and body caused me to question my surgery, my surgeon performed at Harborview in Seattle, Washington. Another patient, to, to, to conclude, to make an example I'm providing more obvious and noticeable, and as calm, as respectful, and as compassionate as I can explain with language and mathematics in silence. A chordoma patient with a skull-based tumor has no gender. And afterwards, they must sit with Dr. Vise and receive hormone tests and his gaze and his look and his observation he practiced on me as a patient and in between these two examples there's a duality and a mystery and a secret these doctors are ignoring why Dr. Vise can dominate me as a male human and allow these humans who have no gender and who take puberty blockers and who are transgender and so on and so forth. Excluding lots of other parts of this example in world, neglected, ignored, and disregarded by health and medicine with their decisions of stimulation and reward as a good psychology and a good psychiatry to have with so much technology and so much quiet in silence.